Hey everybody, it's your old cousin Jack, back with another episode of Wood Carving Weekly. This week, we've got some new blog posts to share with you, a new site that we haven't talked about before, lots of new videos to share, and the tale of woe and rejuvenation. Let's get started. Well, up first, we'll start with a blog post from the would-be carver, Donald Mertz. Don is sharing a new tutorial called Half Pint Hobos. Now, this is a small carving, about three inches tall, and it's a base of one by one. So if you've got a block of one by one, this might be for you. Don takes you through the steps of carving these little half pint hobos. He has a variety of them that he has shared through a series of photo galleries. And in these galleries, he's providing photos from all different angles that should be really helpful when you're carving. In addition to that, Don also has photos of the sequence of events that happen in the carving process. So it's a great resource, and if you've never been over there, check out would-be carver. Well, we're into the holiday season. This is a really busy time for folks who like to make gifts for friends and family and for craft fairs. Lots and lots of carvings going on right now. My friend Sarah publishes the Whittled Lovelies blog, and each year she has an article where she shares some great holiday project ideas. In 2021, she published the first article, and then she did another in 2022. Both of those are available on the Whittled Lovelies blog, so you make sure you want to check that one out. Now, in addition to that, in just a couple of days, November 15th, the 2023 version will be published. That's right, Sarah will have another article with some great ideas for holiday carving projects and decorations. So make sure you go over to Whittled Lovelies and check out all the content there. Well, this next YouTube channel is not a carving channel. It's sculpting. It's called Proco 3D. And in this video, Andrew Joseph Keith, the sculptor, takes you through 10 key differences between male and female skulls and faces. So he walks through these 10 key differences will help you understand, especially if you're carving a male or female figure, understand the differences between how the skulls affect the shape and the look of the jaw, the chin, the cheeks, and all the other facial features. It's really a, a really helpful resource. Now, when you go over there, check out all of the other 60 videos that are available at the Proco 3D site, you'll probably find some additional content that can be helpful if you're learning some anatomical differences between men and women, and also just how to sculpt things or carve things like a human ear. So check it out, Proco 3D. Hey, we have a new video tutorial series from my friend Gene Messer. Gene has a new miniature snow scene that he's sharing. He just published it, and in this scene, he's carving a small figure of a man, two and a half inches tall, and he takes you through the entire carving process, and this is a flat plane carving, as Gene uh, usually does. This is more or less a one-knife whittle, but uh, Gene does use a V-tool to enhance some of the lines, and the knife he's using, it looks like a vintage Ron Wells knife. Gene, uh, Gene you can tell me if that's a Ron Wells or not. Anyway, one of the additional bonus pieces uh, that you get from this video, Gene also shows you how he applies the snow in order to get the wintry look in this miniature snow scene. So check out the new video tutorial from Gene Messer. Well, you know, lately Doug Linker has been posting several videos that are more or less in response to the many, many questions that he gets from his viewers. He has a brand new video about painting and finishing your wood carvings, a complete beginner's guide. So Doug, as you would expect from the title, takes you through a variety of different options that you have when you're painting and finishing your carvings. And he also says, hopefully, this will be the last painting video he will ever have to make. So it could be the definitive painting and finishing video. 
<laughs> That's available for you over at Doug's site. Check it out. Well, folks, we have a tale of woe. Yep. Alec Lacasse says he ruined a $4,000 sculpture. You see, Alec received a commission to work on a deer head, more like a bust, you know, when you see deer heads mounted on the wall. And this is supposed to be a wood carving. Alec spent hours and days working on a basswood sculpture. He was carving out of uh, several glued up pieces of basswood and things went wrong and he had to abandon the project. However, he has started over. He, uh, he grabbed a piece of red oak. Now he's going to attempt carving the entire piece out of one large chunk of red oak. It's a short video and Alec gives you some insights on what went wrong for him and maybe uh, that will help you and me avoid those kinds of things in the future. So check it out. Over at Random Acts of Carving, Mark has a brand new video. In this video, he's carving an owl with the head turned kind of like this. And the owl is perched on top of a walking stick or hiking stick. Mark is doing a power carving here. He's using rotary tools and a variety of different bits. And he shows you the entire carving process. And he also shares the painting. And in the end, of course, the finished product. Now with this project, Mark uh, picked up, a, I guess, a piece of aspen when he was out west and he's carving aspen for the very first time. He says he really did enjoy it. So get on over there to Random Acts of Carving and check out his new video. As I mentioned earlier, we're into the holiday season and I also have a brand new tutorial to share with you over at my original channel, Cousin Jack Carves. I've uh, published a brand new video on the Ninja Bread Man. So this little guy um, with a magnet on it can be a Christmas ornament. It can be a fridge magnet. It can go on your bolo tie. You name it. Lots of uh, little ideas. Now this is a step-by-step -step tutorial where I show you all of the nine steps that I used to get to the finished product. And I talk a little bit about the paint that I used as well and whether or not I used oil. I didn't. So anyway, if you're interested, uh, it's right over here, this video. If you click on it, then that'll take you to that tutorial. Well, I want to thank everybody for coming along this week. Really enjoy your support. We're close to 600 subscribers now. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you next week.